Welcome back to this Inside the Issues special edition of Tucker Carlson tonight. Seattle's many homeless encampments are now setting up their own shopping bazaars. Oh, that's so heartwarming. And with stolen goods and booze, too. And uh, a highly regulatory city is refusing to do anything about it. Jason Rance is the Seattle radio host, and he's on the scene. What do you, what do you got for us there, Jason? Well, as you know, Mark, COVID mandates permanently closed a lot of businesses here. Almost 150 small businesses lost in just the downtown core. But luckily, we're seeing some economic vitality. And now there's a new retail option occupying some pretty prime real estate near trendy restaurants and Pike Place Market just a few blocks away. They sell stylish jeans and shirts, really nice luggage, a huge variety of different whiskeys, including High West Whiskey, which retails for about $70 but goes for around 20 At this particular business, prices like that are quite the steal, probably literally, because this is a homeless bazaar. A busy sidewalk in Seattle has been taken over by a business that's primarily serving the homeless community. You can see clothing with tags on them hanging from fences. Dozens of bottles of booze line the sidewalk. It's been up since at least July 5th when police first made contact. The mayor's office knows about this, but they haven't actually Mm. cleared it. It's still there. And I assure you, this is not the city suddenly taking an interest in supporting small businesses. This is, even in Seattle, this is absolutely illegal. But it's a result of a city that allows homeless encampments wherever they want. And that includes now homeless people setting up businesses on sidewalks. The city essentially said, look, the pandemic is here. We're going to take advantage of it. We're going to justify stopping almost all of the sweeps that we would normally do. And so these homeless bazaars and and marketplaces have been spreading mostly across parks. You can go there buying weed and meth and heroin, stolen bikes. And if you're in the market for some cheap, uh, probably stolen uh, high-end whiskey, we've got a location. So after a year and a half of COVID and lockdowns, the retail sector is booming again if you're a homeless person who steals all the goods for his emporium. Uh, What a fabulous world. Uh, I I must come out and see you in Seattle sometime, Jason. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh,